Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome to Atrian Gaming. So today's video I'm going to be talking about is Black Ops 3 going to be good? Black Ops 3 is now 11 days away from release I believe and I'm going to be going to get it on the midnight release and I'll pretty much be playing it non-stop from the second I get it. Now a problem I made in the past is I always make an opinion on a game much too fast so I'm not going to make a video of whether I like the game for probably about a month. After about a week I'll probably do like a first thoughts or initial thoughts about the game but I'm not going to be making an opinion on the game right off the bat. Now, I'm going to be judging Black Ops 3 on how good it is by if it brings people back to the Call of Duty series. Fairly or unfairly, that's what I think its job is. MW3, Ghost, and Advanced Warfare have been three terrible games in a row that have done a pretty good job of getting people to leave Call of Duty. Now, MW3 was just complete trash. Call of Duty Ghosts was good for competitive, but that's about it, and Advanced Warfare also has been complete trash. There are less pub players, and there's less viewership for events for competitive players. I already think Black Ops 3 will be good and competitive right off the bat, so I'll just say that. Because of the new league and Vonderhaar's awesome support of competitive in the past. And I don't see any of that changing. So I think Black Ops 3 is going to be the best game for competitive since Black Ops 2, but not quite what Black Ops 2 is. Really, I just want the game to be good. I don't need an amazing game at this point. That's probably just because the last couple of games have broken my heart. I always say I'm not going to get amped up for a new game just in case it's bad. But this is probably the most excited I've been for a Call of Duty game upon release. I think the most important thing for Black Ops 3 is that they have a good amount of guns people can use, not just two or three. They need to have balanced guns so people can, once they get bored, they can just mix it up and do different and fun classes. A good option of maps. You need a lot of maps. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, MW2, you look at how popular those games are, nobody minded getting like any maps. One or two maps maybe people didn't like. But Ghost and Advanced Warfare and MW3, most of the maps were complete and utter trash. I'm also going to see how successful the movement's going to be if it's going to be good. The wall riding isn't quite what jetpacking is, and there's some certain abilities, some special powers you get, and the developer said it was to keep the game fresh and moving, which I like the idea behind that, but I just want to make sure none of this new stuff they added can be abused first before I see if it's helpful or not. Call of Duty players always find a way to abuse something. I just hope it's not the wall riding. That would just make it another advanced warfare. Now, the most number one important thing to make Black Ops 3 good is if most to not all, like 95% of the gunfights are fought on the ground. What I mean by that is in this game you see the exosuits, everyone's jumping around and all the gunfights are in air and that's not Call of Duty at all. Now it looks like from watching the game early on that all gunfights are fought on the ground but that's just because people aren't used to the new Call of Duty. You watch Advanced Warfare from the early stages and nobody was fighting in the air. There's an occasional jump to get to a part of a building but people weren't used to the Advanced Warfare jetpack so in the trailer or people playing initially weren't jumping around that much. For the first couple months, all the gunfights in Advanced Warfare were basically on the ground. So if Black Ops 3 gunfights are mostly fought on the ground, and they have good maps and a wide array of guns, I think it'll be about what Black Ops 2 was. So my final opinion is, yes, it'll be a good game. I think if I had to rank it, I would rank it probably a little bit below Black Ops 2, which isn't a bad thing at all. All I need is a good Call of Duty game. I think it'll be great because Von de Haar has always made great games. Treyarch has never made a bad game. They support both pubs and competitives and are willing to change when people bring up issues and if there's enough support behind it. Black Ops 3 for me, what'll make it really good, even if the game's not good, which I think it will be, is if it helps my channel. If people come back to watch Black Ops 3, and I enjoy playing it, and I enjoy making videos, then I think the game will be good. All that matters is I have fun doing it, and I continue to have fun making videos. So, that's going to be it for the video today, guys. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Comment down below if there's anything you want me to talk about in a future video. And I will talk to you guys later.